Hi. So today we're going to review all the knowledge that you've learned in this last topic, which is the uh, electricity at home topic. Uh, so we're just going to do some questions. Uh, let's start off by checking you remember the equations for the following things. We've got charge, energy, uh, the one relating to charge, efficiency and power. Pause, write down the answers and then uh, we'll go through them in just a second. Okay, so hopefully you've written the answers down. Okay, the equation for charge, Q is charge, Q is equal to I T. Charge is equal to current times time. Energy, energy is equal to Q V. Uh, charge multiplied by potential difference. Efficiency, uh, that is useful output divided by input. So, um, how much you get out divided by how much you put in. Um, if you're not sure and uh, you get it wrong way around, um, basically, if you've put it the wrong way around, your answer will be above one, which is impossible. You can't have a um, an equation that's uh, and a device that's more than 100% efficient. So then you know you've done it wrong. Uh, so if you're not sure, uh, put some numbers in. Uh, if the numbers come up higher than one, you've got it wrong. And power. Power uh, is, well, there's lots of different ones. Power is current times voltage, or it's um, energy over time, or yeah, it doesn't matter. Some of the different ones. Uh, okay, so. Uh, this is just a series of questions. So I'm going to read the questions. I'm going to sneeze. Sneeze is gone. Um, I'm going to read the questions. Uh, you just answer them. Uh, I'll give you some hints and tips. In a main circuit, name the why that is earthed at the local substation. Alternate in potential. B. An oscilloscope is used to display the potential difference of an alternating potential difference supply unit. Write and explain how the trace would change if the potential difference is increased, the frequency is increased. We did a thing about frequency before. Give a reason why mains appliances with a metal case is unsafe if it is not earthed. Think about what the earth does. And write the colour of each wire in a mains circuit. Explain why the wall sockets in a room are connected in parallel with each other. A small hairdryer has a double insulated plastic case and is fitted with a plastic mains cable that contains two wires that are insulated separately. Name the two wires in the cable. Why are the two wires in the cable insulated separately? The mains plug of the hairdryer has three terminals. Why does the cable not contain three wires, one for each terminal? Think about your hairdryer. What is it made from? What's the outside made from? That's going to tell you the answer for why there's only two and not three. Some more calculations. Calculate the current in a 230 volt, 2.5 kilowatt electric kettle. Kilowatt, killer, like kilograms. Kilograms is a thousand grams in a kilogram. So how many watts in a kilowatt? You've got a power, you've got a voltage, it wants you to work out the current. Go back to the stars if you're not sure. Write the fuse, 3 amp, 5 amp or 13 that you would fit into the kettle plug. Use the information from the previous question. Remember, if the current say 4 amps and you put a 3 amp fuse in it, it will blow every time you turn it on. So the fuse has to be above the operating current. If the kettle is used on average six times a day for five minutes, calculate the energy in kilowatt hours used in 28 days. So uh, 2.5 kilowatts, watts is energy over time. Okay, so if you times the power by the time that gives you the energy, that's how you're going to do that one. A student uses a 4 amp 230 volt microwave oven for 10 minutes every day. We've got I, we've got V there, so you can work out the power. They use it for 10 minutes. They also use a two and a half thousand watt electric kettle three times a day for four minutes. 
State and explain which appliance uses more energy in one day. So work out the energy. So this first one, you can use these numbers to work out power. P equals I V. And also, you know, power is energy over time. So you can use those two equations to work out the energy that you use in the kettle. This one, you don't even need to work out the power because it gives you the power and use it three times a day, four minutes each. Remember, time should be in seconds, not in minutes. You have to convert. An electric kettle takes 300 seconds to heat 1.5 kilograms of water from one from 15 to 100. Calculate its efficiency. Wow. The specific heat capacity of water is that. Remember, the specific heat capacity energy is equal to mass times specific heat capacity times change in temperature. Okay? So, mass times specific heat capacity times change in temperature. That's how much energy you're going to need to raise its temperature. Temperature change, 100 minus 15. Uh, specific heat capacity is 4,200. Mass, 1.5. That's how much energy you need. Uh, now, we've got this kettle takes 300 seconds. It's that powerful. Work out how much energy it actually gives. And then you can do the efficiency. I actually did that in the little video. So you can have a go. A 5 ohm resistor is in series with a bulb, a switch, and a 12 volt battery. Draw the circuit diagram. Easy. You remember the symbols for those. When the switch is closed for 60 seconds, a direct current of 0.6 uh, amp passes through. Calculate the energy. You might have to do an equation before that. Remember, um, you could do power or you could do charges, current times time. There were loads of them. You know these equations. You might have to do more than one equation to get to the end. So the energy supplied by the battery, the energy transferred to the resistor, and the energy transferred to the bulb. The bulb is now replaced by a 25 ohm resistor. Calculate the total resistance of the two resistors. Note they're in series. Remember the, the rules for resistors in series. Now calculate the current in the battery and calculate the power supplied by the battery and the power delivered to each resistor. All just small, simple equations. Just might have to do a few of them. A 12 volt, 36 volt bulb is connected to a 12 volt supply. Calculate the current. Easy. Remember, P equals I, V. The charge flew through the bulb in 200 seconds. Remember charge, Q, I, T. Show that uh, 7,200 joules of energy is delivered to the bulb in 20 seconds. Power, energy, over time. A second 12 volt 36 watt bulb is connected to the power supply in parallel. Calculate the current through each bulb and then through the battery. Show me the energy delivered per second to the two bulbs is equal to the energy supplied per second by the battery. The first part, if you work out the current through one bulb, so draw, can I suggest for this one, draw the circuit. Uh, then remember the rules for current in parallel uh, and uh, resistance in parallel and potential difference in parallel. Draw the circuit and then it's much easier to work out. Once you've worked out the current in each bulb, then it's really easy to work out what happens to the battery. Just add them. Then you know the energy. You can work out the energy because you worked out the current and you know the voltage. Simple. An electrician has a job of connecting a 6.6 .6 kilowatt electric oven to the 230 main supply in a house. Calculate the current needed to supply 6.6 .6 kilowatts of electrical energy at 230 volts. Remember, convert kilowatts to watts. The table below shows a maximum current that can pass through five different main cables uh, for each of the cross-sectional areas below, given in square millimeters. To connect the oven to the main supply, determine which cable the electrician should use. Give reason for your answer. So basically, work out what you need for A, check the table, and it gives you the answer. 
I'll explain what happened. They chose if she chose a uh, cable with thinner conductors. Notice they get thinner. The thinnest is at excuse me, thinnest is at the top, and the thickest is at the bottom. What do you think would happen? And that's it. The next lesson, I'll go through all these questions doing the work solution so you can double check your answers but it's most important is that you just have a go yourself have a go try and do the questions uh if you can't do them uh trying is what matters i'll give you the answers tomorrow okay love you bye